guys welcome back to my channel if you're new thank you for coming well thursday morning 14th of march just in the fish room and i thought i'd um do an update on the swords babies i transferred three months ago show you how they're going and have a little chat about lighting for sword plants okay now I've, I'll show you four different types of lights I'm using on various tanks and yeah whatever light you got will work fine I mean I'm not going to criticize any other channels or anything because hundreds probably thousands of ways to do everything but some of them I don't know kids starting out teenagers kids whatever people on budgets whatever you don't need two three hundred plus dollar lights to grow them you know a lot of mine are second hand a lot of them are 30 plus years old and just the way i do it as long as you maintain your water conditions and you fertilize the plants i will show you the expensive fluvals whatever probably are better but you know not everyone wants them or needs them you don't need them so i will just show give you a run through on the tanks and some different lights and um yeah thank you well, let's start off with this one this is four foot by 18 by 18 tank uh just got old fluoros on this one probably 35 years old and don't even use it's a bit bright so i'll go down here but you can see soil plant in here absolutely fine water spray bit of duckweed doing fine that one you know almost perfect even though shattered out so yeah 35 year old fluoro i don't even you know you can get grow lights for the uh fluoros I don't even use them. I just use eight, nine dollar strip lights when one blows. So yeah, look at that. Growing absolutely beautiful. We even have a baby over here in shade. Maybe two babies in there. And they're doing good. Um, yeah, in this tank I've got 40 plus catfish, 100 plus cherry barbs. And I've got four angels that were um i bought 10 about eight months ago so they're 10 or 11 months old now i did lose two in the first couple of weeks and then i had someone wanted to buy four so i sold them so i got these four for free but anyway i got distracted so there you go 30 five year old i think that i've got my four foot by two by two foot tank in 1990 and um that was a light i got for it so yeah 34 years old doing fine all right this one below the four foot one on 180 liter or something that one was 230 liter or something um i, I just i had a old fluoro on here and now when that I dropped in the tank I couldn't get it to go again so I picked up a $18 outside floodlight LED 20 watt and I just hooked it up there and as you can see in here it was 15 or so swords all doing well bit of duckweed so even the cheapest one you can get works fine look at them they're all pretty healthy um, Mightn't be optimum growth, but do you always want massive growth? You set up a tank, and as long as they're healthy and slowly growing, you do fine. So second option, those ones, they're pretty good. You can buy them with already wired up just to plug in. Away you go. So a good option for anyone. You know, 20 bucks, can't go wrong. Okay, these are the ones I planted out three months ago. As you can see, they've tripled in size. This has, well, all my tanks pretty much 
We bought second hand. This has an old uh, 2835 LED on there. And yeah, I don't know, 15 years old or something. And is, they're doing fantastic. Look at the growth on them. Shaded out, bit of water sprite, bit of duckweed. But swords adapt really well. They're doing fantastic. Actually like the way they grow under this light the best. The old 2835s. Long, slender, reaching up leaves. So, yeah. You know, you can pick up a 2835 on eBay for 35, 40 bucks. And you'll be fine. Okay, this tank has a newer light. As you can see, it's stronger. It's a LED 5730 SMD. Um, when I put the other three months ago, you can, this one here, that was like the middle one on the last tank. That was right up to the top and everything. So you can see with the 5730s, there's a stronger light. So they don't grow as well. But, um, well, they, they do grow as well. They just grow different. They grow shorter and broader. But I do find 5730s are probably better. Uh, as you can see, it's had three shoots. I've been a bit slack. These ones a bit covered in moam or whatever. But it's had three shoots. So when I transferred it, within a month, it had the three shoots. And we have lovely babies. And you can see these ones up here, they the longer leaves. That was about how long it was over. So um, maybe the catfish in there or whatever. It's died back, but it's still doing they're still doing really good. So 5730, what was that? 48 bucks. So yeah, they're good. So there you go. And Landroom Tank also has a 5730 SMD LEDs on it. And look at that. They're doing good. Has a little bit of algae and moam on the leaves, but that's because I run the lights in here for 12 hours and later at night because, you know, you want to look at it more. And also because the, the air pump on there is... I probably need a bit more flow, but 40-year-old um, air pump is getting too noisy on high. It's down to medium, so when I get around, I'll do it. But yeah, and we got catfish, a batch of 25, 30 ish cribs that just maybe a few got taken out because there's eight cribs in there from the parents, but um, and two batches of catfish. So there you go, guys. Options for lights, and you know, they're doing really nice in there. I like. Thank you. So there you go. Plenty of options for you. Um, that's just what I do. People say it might be a bit of a tight ass, but you don't need it. The main thing is down to you. You do your maintenance and look after them. They'll grow well. But I know everyone's different. Everyone's circumstance is different, but I do get a bit cheesed off sometimes when I watch a lot of, a lot of things that got to have this, got to have that. That's fine if you want it, but you, it's down to you. You just do, you know, you don't need it so much of the shit everyone's pushing, in my opinion. But thank you for watching. Leave a comment whether you agree or disagree or whatever. And um, I'll see you next time. You know, like 45 plus years in the hobby, I still love it and you know everyone's different do what you want do your maintenance and any light will work any light will work so thank you bye bye